I received a question about what it is to import or project something into a sketch and why one would do it. So let's take a closer look at that with my hollowed out box. I'll select a side and create a sketch and I'll create a circle. Now let's say that I want to dimension the circle off of this edge. When I select the edge and when I select the circle center, something happens where, when I, after I assign a dimension, we can even see it more clearly, a dotted line shows up on this edge. Why is there a dotted line on this edge? Because that edge has been brought into the sketch so that I can dimension off of it, right? I'm using this edge as a reference, and so a Libre puts in a dotted line. We can manually do this. This was automatically brought in because I used the dimension, but we can manually do this. Let's say I want to reference the floor of my box. I can go to project a sketch. I can select the floor, or in this case, an edge that marks the floor. I'll bring it in as a reference figure with maintained association. And now I've got this line that tells me exactly where that floor is. And this is handy because now I can say I want this to be exactly one inch above the floor of my box. So we bring these things into sketches so that we can reference off of them. Otherwise, it would be quite difficult to create a one inch dimension off of nothing that I could select. So that's why we import or project things into our active sketch, again, for referencing. I'll go ahead and give this a size and then I can maybe turn this into a hole and extrude it through all. <clears throat> Likewise, I can select this whole face. I can say, you know what, I want to project this entire face as a sketch. And now I have the ability to extrude what I just projected. So there's a lot of reasons why we would want to project, uh, but almost always it's so we can reference things that are already existing in our geometry. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.